Now I know this week was real strange with uploads as I mostly focused on how I did my original videos with the strength, how strong. It's my channel, look, I'm not gonna lie. Um, but look, it has time. I, those videos were to hold me off, so I was just exclusive me to make Jujutsu Kaisen content for right now. We can all agree that last chapter was garbage. And the loose ends it, it just exhibits. For example, Naruto is my favorite anime all time, right? But it has its flaws. Jujutsu Kaisen has major flaws. Now, one thing I will respect about the ending, one thing is respect, is that Gay Gay gave us the finger. He says, no Gojo. No, we won't know what Yuki's domain is. We don't know why Sakuna was Yuji, uh, was Yuji Kuna in the domain extension. We don't know what Yuji's domain was called or what, what he was doing in his domain. We just assumed it was to attack this, the soul. And that is it. And Sakuna's kill count was basically low. Basically, anyone who died in that fight wanted to a glor go out with a glorious death. For example, Gojo and Kash. Those are the only two people that was like, I right, I need to pack my bags. Urame had to leave because Urame said, if Sakuna not here, D1 Glazer, for real though. Uh, Urame, if Sakuna not here, I gotta go too. What sense does that make? You know, I was supposed to give the end, I was supposed to give JJK its flowers. Um, but this, this, this 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 video will turn into something else and then I'll do the do the, the, the JJK flowers video later because you know it should give JJK still accomplished many things but I guess I'll atone for that in a different video but w why for some reason there's a trend in new gen where all the endings are bad Tokyo Revengers ending is horrible I'm not lying to you the Demon Slayer ending it's honestly up to interpretation if you think it's good or not just because of how it's ended and how many people was lost during the final arc as well as the my hero ending even though i didn't like it i still respect what my hero did for the new wave of anime watchers for when you know when i was younger but jjk had that wave of being talked about every month had the wave of the animation, had the wave of the movies. JJK could have legit, other than One Piece, be the most popular anime of the world. Nothing was competing with it during during it was on. Only One Piece and Demon Slayer. Only because Demon Slayer is the only one that could is the only one that could beat JJK in popularity just because of its animation. But let Demon Slayer animation mess up, and JJK would be on top. Because as we read the story, and it started off well, basically, <laughs> Yuji eats a finger. He gains the spirit of a malevolent curse that from thousand years ago, especially the hand arc, hand person, um, you know, he was called the King of Curses. Why he? Why he was a regular human before. Never explained how he turned into a curse, but he was a regular human before, but he turned himself into a curse based off of other people's views, thoughts, and wanted to revenge. Re Never really explained, right? And it was like, oh, he has to die at the end of the show. We know this is Shonen. Yuji was not going to die at the end of the show. If anyone thought he was, come on. Come on. We know better. We, I, I know better, at least. Um, but at the end of the day, we saw multiple fights go down yuki versus ghetto and then the end of kenjaku also another thing i know i'd probably i probably have clips up right now for this video which i probably do just because um there is a jjk chapter i don't know if it's 270 where we see takaba talk to somebody with kenjaku now somebody looks like kenjaku now we may have think takaba was just acting and being comedic as he really can't die unless he finds what you think his death is comedy what was that there was nothing there the only reason jjk has potential to keep going is that there's still one 
finger of Sakuna out there. Technically, Sakuna is not dead. As long as that finger's there, he can be revived. Now, all his other fingers, death, right? So anything, it would be a weak Sakuna coming back, facing all these strong sorcerers, and they would just have to beat him down to a pulp. That's it. Whoever engulfed his finger, come on. Come on. We know better. We know better. We know better. But here's my thing. If the premise was Yuji dying at the beginning, which was not going to happen because it's shown it, then turns into basically Gojo series for a little bit, especially in the manga when he has to fight Sukuna, and then turns into Yuta series a little bit. Then Hakari gets hyped up. Oh my goodness. I'm going to give Hakari his own video later, but why they did my man so dirty? Hakari by Gojo standards was hyped up to be the big three. The big three to beat gojo look look i'm not saying i could have written a better ending for jjk as a manga as he has to go through editors and multiple hurdles for even his for gege to get his series published but look i would have just made kenjaku the final villain he was already hyped up to be the final villain it was oh it was all sakuna was just there he was always sakuna was the villain don't get me wrong he's an antagonist but as long as they kept him at bay kenjaku was the final for example one piece got a lot going on right blackbeard is sakuna emu is kenjaku we know at the final arc of one piece it will have to involve emu at some point but preluding emu they have to deal with blackbeard correct so kenjaku himself himself is the mastermind right i don't i really i i like so i like um yuta killing him for a little bit but he should have just been off in the sidelines for real um for a little bit hiding out and then once he saw gojo's body he should have took over gojo's body and then once sakuna was dealt with and gojo by means of kenjaku took over his body Yuta, Yuji, Hakari should have fought Gojo. Now, if Megumi, I think Megumi is just out of commission for this fight, as Gojo did talk about his potential, but did not mention did not mention him in the same breath as Yuji, Yuta, and Hakari. They they're not in the same breath, at least from season season one. They don't mention him. Season one or season two, so. Let them, let them three bite go, fight Gojo so they can surpass Gojo. Boom. Better ending. Because why? They got to bury Gojo. Burn his body so they, he doesn't turn into a weapon for other people. Then on top of that, not even more. We don't even get to see his funeral. It just jumps to them doing a mission. It was like, peace out. It didn't feel like an end. That's the thing. Reading that last chapter, it didn't feel like an end. It felt like the end of an arc. It felt like, hey, I got to go on a hiatus for like a year. Hold this while I get back. That was it. That's what it felt like for me, at least. It didn't wrap up any loose ends. It didn't wrap up any storylines. It didn't wrap up anything. They defeated Sukuna. And since he's done, Rami's done, Kenjaku's done, I got nothing to do with you. Peace out. You know? It's like, it's like that, um, it's like DBZ's ending, how DBZ ended with Oob and Goku, basically, why are they racing outside? Um, basically DBZ and Oob, wow, basically DBZ, basically, um, Oob and Goku going off to train, like, th to me, when I first watched DBZ, because it preludes me, so I had to rewatch it. I always thought that wasn't an ending. I thought there was always going to be more DBZ. And of course, we get GT. We got Super. But GT is technically the continuation, if you think it's canon or not. So that's that's more impressive to me. So I think that, right? I think it's more of that. It's opening the door for, of course, fans to interpret. Like, we have to interpret whatever um, Gege wants us to think. And then we have to think further. So there's many what ifs. There's many things we could talk about as a, as the JJK fan base grows and talks about it. But the problem is, it's you could watch it. We'll watch JJK once JJK ends. Anime wise, it'll be phenomenal. I think it should end in the next five years only because anime 
movies like that that's all going to take time so by 2029 2030 uh wow it should end for real um but let, let, let come on come on gay gay come on we couldn't get anything better anything i mean anything better besides just hey yeah i'm dying for real sakuna loss i got nothing else to write cut out kenjaku's head you know it's rushed yeah yeah i got i got something else to do though so like hold this and then and then peace out i'm like for what what, what are you doing to us i right, don't matter all right like give us a better end i'm disgusted right now i ain't gonna lie but overall jdk did what it did so peace out to it in the meantime <laughs>